Native Instruments have just released the latest version of their most popular sampler, Contact. Version 6.7 is now compatible with the new M1 Mac computers and ARM processors. But how well does it work when recording and playing various instruments? Let's find out. What's up, everybody? I hope everyone is having a great day. Let's jump in and check out how Contact is working here on the new M1 Mac Mini. Um, this is the Abbey Road 60s drummer library. I've already got this preloaded in one of my Pro Tools templates. So I'm just gonna start playing. Yep, sounds great, and it's very responsive, very um, reactive. Let's just get ready to record on these audio channels here. I'm just going to hit Shift-R on my keyboard here in Pro Tools and get ready to record on these audio tracks, and let's see how we go. What can I say? So far, so good. So um, let's pull up some other libraries in here. So if I just open up contact here, I'll go ahead and close out this library and pull up. I love the noir library. I'm really into that one. So let's pull up the pure one. And that loads up just lickety split. Really nice. Yep, that sounds absolutely fantastic as well. Let's try another library that notoriously takes a long time to load. So these are some of the most, uh, so, sort of the largest libraries here, the Session Strings Pro 2. And if I just load up the, let's see, Ensemble Modern, if we try that one. And you can see it just lickety split, just loaded, no problem. And sounds lovely, works absolutely perfectly, just flawlessly. So, you know, what what can I say? And absolutely expected this, obviously. It's been working without a problem um, for a really long time. What, what I can expect from here is that in performance of these tools will just only get better and improve from here. Um, what will that look like? It really remains to be seen. Um, I wonder if anyone's going to be doing any sort of benchmark testing of like how many tracks we can load of a certain instrument type and things of that nature. If you're interested in, any, in seeing anything like that, let me know what kinds of instruments for contact you would like to see down in the comments. I would be interested to know what you guys would like to see. I personally would want to know like how many of these potentially could I load up in, in, in one session here for Pro Tools or Logic. So I might do something like that uh, for my own benefit. But if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, let me know. And if you're curious about how the previous version of Contact has worked up to this point on the Apple M1 Mac Mini, click on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.